we do need to talk about last night's historic World Series game. I hope y'all watched it. One night after giving up five homers, the Astros combined to throw the second no-hitter in World Series history against the Phillies. It was a 5-0 win. On the offensive side, Alex Bregman led Houston with one hit, two RBI, and a run scored in a huge fifth inning for the Astros. Shannon, what's your biggest takeaway from that? To see a no-hitter in, in, a, in a World Series game. If you mentioned, Jen, it's only been done twice. Don Larson threw a perfect game in, in 56. Uh, that was and a long time. That was a very, very long time ago. And it doesn't happen. The stakes are so are, are so extremely high. And there's a picture where he jumps into Yogi Berra's arm, Skip, an iconic photo. That's iconic. And this yes. is gonna this if they go on to win this, Skip, I know everybody when they hit uh, the Phillies the night before hit all these home runs. Five. Everybody says it's over. The Astros are not going away quietly. They did not go they away. They are a very, they, they, very good they team. They pretty much had to win that game they last to, night. They, they had and to And all win. of a sudden, they flipped the script, and now the Phillies almost have, have to, to win the game tonight because of the last two are and, 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 Skip, I, I, I used to be a big Astros fan because I remember when they had Nolan Ryan and yep. J.R. Richardson and Mike Scott. Mm -hmm. They had flamethrowers. And at those old uniforms, I think I got a throwback with Nolan Ryan on it when the throwbacks were in. They went skip, for the Colt 45s. <laughs> skip, this was, this was impressive. I mean, the four pitchers to throw a no-hitter in a World Series game. Mm. The World Series has been played 118 times. I know, but unfortunately, it was combined. That's what <laughs> took the life out of it. That yeah. took, that took the, 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 the top off it a yeah. little bit, the, the magic out of it. Shannon Sharp, I covered baseball for a long time. I even wrote a baseball novel, so I think I have a pretty good command of what baseball is and is not. Christian Javier's fastball is unlike anything I have ever, ever seen. It is truly magical because it travels to home plate at 94 miles an hour, which is immensely hit to ball. Right. But it hits the catcher's mitt at 100 miles an hour because it doesn't just have what you call late life, explodes. which is movement. It, it explodes across the plate. And I don't know how you make a, a baseball, leave your hand at 94, and then suddenly hit hyperspace and explode in the catcher's right. mitt. And the, the hitters last night, remember, he's going up against the hottest hitting home oh, right. team in the playoffs. Yes. He's up against the loudest crowd in all of baseball. It's not even close to me. Mm -hmm. And th they're on the verge of, we're going to win the World Series tonight. And he silenced the bats and he silenced the cheers with that fastball. He threw 70% fastballs because they couldn't catch up. And when they did, they just popped up weak fouls because they're undercutting everything because that pitch has some movement they cannot time. Yeah, but, but, Skip, but how many times have we seen guys leave the game, they're in control of the game, and then the, the oh, relievers yeah. stumble in, and oh, they get, they, it all goes to hell. Okay, but three relievers went clean, clean, <laughs> clean, exactly. inning, 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 right? And that yes. was it. But it, it, it takes the heart oh, out yeah, of the yeah. no-hitter because it should have been all about Christian Javi. But, yeah, right? you know, he, had, he had thrown, what, 97 pitches mm -hmm. through a six inning. That's a, that's a line. Yeah, that's but, a book. But Dusty wanted to save him for a potential game seven. He could come back on three days exactly. rest. And that, I don't like Philly's chances if it gets to game seven. I agree with you. It would have been, been much more impressive had it been one or maybe two. Maybe we go two guys, Skip, one maybe. guy, and then the other guy brings it home. But, Skip, still, uh, there have been a lot of guys, there are a lot of teams that use four or five pitches and ain't no hit another team, what especially did. a team that's hitting the well, ball well, like the Phillies are. Well, Christian and company did it to the Yankees at Yankee Stadium th this season. And, see, and we thought that was like, oh, man, the Yankees. Man, the Yankees just swing for the fences. No, you no. see the hottest, the hottest hitting, hitting team? Mm. He's, they silence those bats, too. The Astros are really, Skip, they can be, I mean, they win this World Series. You're going to have to start talking about this as a dynasty, Skip. No, I, I got it. And I'm, I'm happy for Dusty because I, I, I covered Dusty. I want Dusty so bad. I covered Dusty as a player and a manager. So. Oh, he was on, if I'm not mistaken, Skip, wasn't he on the on-deck circle when uh, Hank Aaron hit the home run? Mm -hmm. As an Atlanta Braves. Yeah, as an Atlanta Braves. Yep. So, and I covered him as the left fielder for the Dodgers back in the and, 70s. So Dust, Dusty's yeah, seen some things. And, and uh, he reported that I think Tom House actually caught the ball. He's a close friend of mine, and he did catch it in the <laughs> bullpen. <laughs> caught it on the on the run. Yeah, and uh, I think he said Sammy Davis Jr. tried to buy it from him, but he ended up giving it to, <laughs> giving it to Hank as a souvenir. I hope so. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Alex Bregman. Go Tigers! Thanks for watching, undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.